Welcome all. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to create and run testng.xml file. Let me answer this by showing you the easiest way to create testng.xml file for a project in Eclipse IDE and thereafter running it. So here is the Eclipse IDE. Here is a sample project for which I am going to create the testng.xml file. And before I create the testng.xml file for the sample project, Let's see this classes. Okay, there are three classes in this project: one dot Java, two dot Java, three dot Java. Now let me create the testng.xml file. Right click on this project and select testng option. And inside the testng options, there is sub option known as convert to testng. Select this convert to testng. You will get this refactoring dialog, which will show you the testng.xml file and its content that is going to be created. Okay, this is the name of the file that is getting created. And this is the content that is getting created for this testng.xml file. If you clearly observe the content, guys, it will have the tags of these three classes: one dot Java, two dot Java, three dot Java. Here, you see, okay, three things: one dot Java, two dot Java, three dot Java, and uh, they are surrounded by the classes, classes tags, and these classes tags are surrounded by the test tags. These test tags are surrounded by the su tag. So this is the format of this testng.xml file. And just simply, you don't have to write anything, guys. Just click on finish. You see, the testng.xml file will be created. Open this testng.xml file. You see, this is the testng.xml file that got created, and it has the references to all these Java classes. And inside this, each and every class, guys, one dot Java, two dot Java, three dot Java, there are test methods, guys. I created the test methods. Inside this one class, there is a test method known as testng test method known as one method. Similarly, in two dot Java also, there is a testng test method known as two method. Okay, this is a testng test method. And inside the three dot Java also, there is a testng test method known as three test. Okay, test three. So like this, I already created the testng test methods. Now, if I run this testng dot xml file, okay, if I run this testng dot xml file which has the references to all these three Java classes having the testng test methods, okay. Okay, when I run this testng.xml file, it has references to all the Java class files having the testng test methods. So when I run this testng.xml file, what will happen, guys? All the test methods inside this, uh, all these Java class files will be run. So right click, run as testng switch. You see, three test methods inside the three classes will be running, guys. Okay, how many tests got run? Three. One of the tests is in one dot Java. One of the tests is in three dot Java. One of the tests in Two dot Java. The results are, you see, two method, one method, three uh, test three. Okay, so three methods, test methods inside the three classes are run using this testng dot xml file here. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. That is how to create and run testng dot xml file. It is very simple, guys. Simply right click on the project, select testng, convert to testng. That's it. And later on, run the testng dot xml file by selecting testng suite option. So that's it, guys. So hope, guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's it. Thank you. Bye.